How are these problems, guys? Good. They, awesome. Yeah, there was some debate. Uh, <laughs> much debate, I think. So what was the theme of the night? Asian living from outer space. I'm going to say even more, identifying an invasion point. And I should say to you guys, I, told, I, I think most of you guys heard this earlier, but I'm also definitely going to say to you two people, hi, YouTube, that uh, most of these problems are of my own original composition, at least partially, if not the entire thing. Which means we're going to get into lots of trouble here in the analysis, because <laughs> I, that I don't make very good problems, as longtime viewers will know. I tend to make them all in about 45 seconds, and then they kind of suck. But we're going to try it anyway, because I'm sure there's things we can still learn. So anyway, they're all black to play. And again, the hint to all these is, you know, we're trying to identify an invasion point. And for the most part, uh, you know, these problems are set up in such a way that you don't really need to do much preparation before the invasion. I think one or two of them, if you found a preparatory move, it would be very helpful. But for the most part, they're just kind of do it. So tell me about this board. What do you guys see? What were some ideas? Weak. <laughs> What's weak? White is weak. Oh, right there, yes. I think so. the collective eyes of the room went to a spot in here. Okay, so if you were going to invade that area, what spot would you go to? This spot felt kind of nice because you might be able to connect up with your friend this way, mm -hmm. uh, but also might be able to run out, so it sort of had multiple options. Hey, that's a beautiful thing we're looking for, yeah. right? In all these problems, when we play a stone in somewhere, we can never have that stone only do one thing. Just never. So if you are ever invading, thinking, I'm going to play there, and on my next move, I'm going to play there. And if that's the end of your logic sequence, you have just failed at the invasion. Okay, Your invasion stone needs to do two things. And to help cue you in often when you're doing two things is to look for weaknesses in your opponent. That's going to be another theme here in these problems. You know, Where does your opponent uh, have a weakness, or have, a, have a, a space or a gap that's too far, or, or a shortage of liberties? Right, You're looking for something to take advantage of. Over here, what's the weakness? One too many spaces. Yeah, it's, it really, like. it's really a little bit too far apart. It is Joseki, but after Black has a stone here, this is a lot harder for for White to actually call his own. Because of the Black stone, Kylie, you want to throw a stone in there? Mm -hmm. As you guys mentioned, this stone could do multiple things. How should White try to defend? Not let this die. <laughs> okay, how do we want to do that? Ah, if we do that, that's real bad news. Uh, I might even be inclined to play there. Just in close. <laughs> yeah. All right, White, keep going. Are you just going to live in the corner now? Is this your life? Yeah, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, God, the pain. It also feels so terrible for this stone to run because Black's just going to build up things yeah. Yeah. as that stone runs. So, so this this would have been fun. Even if you, White lives over here, which White is still not alive, right, if you believe it. Uh, even if White lives, this wall is really useful. Mm. Look at the uni uniting of all of the Black stones on this quadrant of the board. That is, is magnificent. And so this was a disaster. White can't play this way. Why should White try instead? Connect under. Uh, connect under? Like here? Yeah. I hadn't that considered that. Can't quite. Yeah. I think Black's okay just to play here. Uh, cross cut. Take this Atari. White can play here. Black and cut here again. Seems like this actually isn't that good for black. Like if if white takes there, that feels like some strength coming out into the center. How many eyes does white have? Does Not quite one. one. It might have one here. This one can be poked out whenever. Black yeah, and right, right, right now this is a half eye. Yeah. yeah, and effectively we have a we have a kind of a half eye down here, right? Because white can get an eye if white plays it. So if we have a half eye plus a half eye, how many eyes total? <laughs> Dead. <laughs> One eye. So that means white has to keep going, mm. right? This is white is not settled. 
So what if boy goes here and tries to settle? Okay, so what, then white can try to go here for two eyes quick. Show me out here. How do you how do you make two eyes down here? Well, if we can get this as a half eye, if we can end the sequence in a way Still that threatens two, if we create this eye in one how do you with Sente. How do you create this eye in Sente is my question. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out here in a second, I guess. I think what Nick's trying to tell us is that this connecting is really underneath is a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> how about we try it on the top instead? Yeah, that seems more uh, natural. Yeah, let's go back. This variation seemed better for white than the last variation, so Oh uh, yeah, white, 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 white doesn't get completely sealed in, maybe. I don't, yeah. <laughs> It'd still be sad. Yeah, but the obvious move would be here, right? Let's try to link up to the stone directly, you know, at the closest distance. What can black do? Connect underneath. Yeah, I think black can just play here. It's very simple. And if white just keeps coming on top, black just connects. White can play here. And, yeah, it's safe. So, and maybe at some point black might be able to get this, uh, but if black just plays the super safe route, white still owes a move over here. So, now question, how many eyes does white have now? None yet. One-ish? Say one. Yeah, it's really about yeah. one. So white would still need to keep going. So this still is at least out. So hmm? out into the out to the center, out into the terrifying, the terrifying run and yeah. allow black to build. It's at least. But oh, there's still this. Hmm. Okay. Are you gonna connect? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, obviously. No. Okay. Yeah, that gets a lot more scary. And yeah, again, white. if you have a weak group here that needs to run, if you do not have two eyes here, then white needs to you know limp into the middle. What's going to happen to this moyo? It's going to expand. It's going to turn into territory. <laughs> right, this is going to be points, mm. and a lot of points. So, you know, the invasion here, right, we, we, we like it for black, like we realize its power, not just because we're taking away some points from white and getting a few extra points for ourselves, but because it unsettles white. And mm -hmm. if you can ever have an invasion that unsettles an opponent's group, that's, that's fantastic, right? You're coming into your opponent's neighborhood, and you're making your opponent run out of their own neighborhood. Fantastic. There are some harder variations. Did anyone look at this, find this variation? No? No. Uh, I might have to read out part of this right now, but it is scary. For which side? Everybody. <laughs> uh, black connects. How do you fix this? Let's say you want to go on my right, the other one, because that feels like you're just asking to have the cut. But black doesn't have two eyes, right? Yeah, no. but I don't uh, know. I think you uh, gave white an extra did stone. Did I give white? Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah sorry. That would make it. Okay. Now, yeah, there we go. Cut. Yeah. Atari. Connect. Connect. Make a shape. Maybe not even take, I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't know the order actually anymore. But it seems like this, I mean, it's a tough fight um, for white. Like even just to here. How do you get these four white stones to live? By killing this now. <laughs> well, if black just plays here now, it's really hard to kill that. Yeah. Like you'd have to get this out, take all these mm -hmm. crudataris, but the second you take all these crudataris, all of a sudden black can come back and mm -hmm. punish mm -hmm. that stone. So, this is the scary way for both players. I'm, I'm fully confident black is actually completely fine here, and it's white that's in trouble. But again, black has to be very mindful of yeah. what's going on. Okay. So is the, is the message here that if, if you play out that Joseki and, and black plays one space extension yes. there, alarm bells need to go off yes, in your head? Yes, absolutely. If black is strong here and, and relatively strong over here, absolutely. This is... You have to so feel like there's a weakness here. Just feel the spacing, I think, mm -hmm. is more important. Mm -hmm. I don't worry about a particular Joseki. Mm -hmm. and, and again, white, if, if white is surrounded, white's not going to play the really severe variations unless he's just absolutely destined to kill you. Uh, you know, he just has, like, blood squirting out his eyes, you know, while he's chopping on a human arm flesh stick. <laughs> yeah. But they're more likely to play one of these peaceful variations. Where they, they keep all the stones connected, but they're not strong globally. 
Uh, you guys look at any variations over here where Black tried to invade this? There are just so many stones down there. It looked, they look real solid. I mean, the spacing fields. Yeah, there's really no good point, right? I mean, Black, yeah, Black can come in here, right, with things like this. Like this, Black, this is a move. If this was the biggest spot on the board, Black could play here and expect to get some sort of result. But there's just not that much to gain. Right? Even, even if white just plays very simply, mm -hmm. it's like, yay, black, we took away maybe nine points. Maybe. And now you get to run. <laughs> now you have to run, yeah. Like, you're going to work really hard to take away, you know, these nine points. Really hard. So yeah, there's just not much over here. There's too many stones. Very small invasions. All right, next board. What I think is probably the hardest problem that I set up. So I'm very interested to see what your ideas are. So obviously black probably should just play something like this. But I didn't realize that when I was making the problem. So I was preoccupied with the invasions. Anyone find this move? We ended up over here. That, that is similar, yeah. similar. That's possible. And this was the one where we came. But yeah. that, that, that was we the point we tried. Down in yeah. here. Yeah. 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 It's it like you have like, this helper out here. It seems like, oh yeah, we have a helper, we should go in there. Yeah. There's a problem with this move. Well, there's so several the problems. diagonal just destroy that when we go somewhere away. like here? Yeah, first of all, there's, this, there's a little bit of a shape problem. Mm -hmm. um, What's the shape? But we don't, we don't really, well, if white plays something like this. Oh, oh. I thought, sorry, I thought you were talking about it. Yeah. I know. Okay. Uh, no, this is right here. Um, now, black does have this move in this case. Okay. But it's... it's. What is this move doing? Oh, we're going to come back here and play this and make high space. Okay. Yeah, and if white descends like this, uh -huh. you have Atari. I mean, there's all sorts of like, <laughs> uh, you take, it. you Atari, <laughs> white connects, you come back, you cut there, like stuff like that, right? Like, okay. Easy, right? easy, easy stuff, <laughs> guys, come on, <laughs> okay? You guys know this. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, so here, let's, let's, let's go back and just talk conceptually about some things. So number one, there is, there is a problem for black, but if white were to like, really insist on cutting us off, again, make sure your invasions do more than one thing. Don't just try to connect out. You go this way and make a base over here, right? Mm -hmm. Black would be okay. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is this isn't really good enough. Okay. If black plays here, white might even just be inclined just to play like that. Okay. And now, are you gonna spend another move to play here to save the stone? And now all of a sudden, white's gonna come back over here and play maybe this, or maybe even just come in directly, or approach gingerly. White's gonna, white's gonna, you know, do things. See that you're trying to make something big over here, and we'll immediately start to destroy it. And I'm not again. You got nine points. I'm not thrilled. You prevented these from becoming white territory. So, like, yeah, you can play this. It works. Is is it big enough? And I think the answer on this board right now is no. Okay. But is it big enough, and is it an invasion? <laughs> if we're if we're meant to be finding invasions, is there an, is there yeah. another invasion point that looks bigger? Well, what's what's bigger than for white on this board other than this? Where 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 is the rest of white's points? And again, we've already agreed that this is probably the best move. Uh, okay, so yeah. so so I, bad problem. I made a bad problem. It felt like this could that, be expanded. Yes. Yeah, like if, th if this. White got well, this move. area right now is is. White's area. Yeah. This area is not. This area is not already reduced with this stone. There's actually not many potential for points here. Okay. So this is the area we want to get into. Okay. Look. I guess you're right. Possible, but very difficult to play here directly. Very tight. Very difficult. Mm. White has friends on both sides. Right, yeah. um, right now, the best black can probably expect. Uh, like, like, to die, just to serve. <laughs> um, you know, maybe maybe we get some sort of reduction. 
Um, but I mean, that will die. Well, we looked at the we looked at the diagonal in between yeah. the large night smoke, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We looked at another point back there. Okay. Well, here we'll go back. But I'm just showing you, like, like this is probably like the best black can expect from this type of result, and it's really not that good. Yeah. Like we end up with weak group inside of a bunch of white stones. We've reduced it sort of temporarily. Uh, let's go back. But instead of attaching, there was a diagonal that we tried out that didn't seem didn't seem okay. great. Here. Oh no, we uh, rather than attaching, uh -oh. we went here. Ah. Was what we considered. Now, what happens if white plays here? Yeah, that was we actually read out a lot of. We that didn't variation. have a good answer for that. <laughs> yeah. It didn't look that great. Here. Yeah, that's yeah, we yeah, tried yeah. that. Just start running back towards the center. That doesn't really get you anything, yeah. though, does it? Yeah, we just decided to create a group that just ran and then nothing happened. Well, if it runs out of safety, it's interfered with white's territory. Well, that white except this wasn't pure territory did. yet, right? No. And again, how many points did we reduce? Yeah. I mean, it's white, white actually got to build on mm -hmm. this now. So, I mean, I was thinking, and I you're was still thinking, weak. I was thinking, if we go back to the start, if, if white plays out something like this, mm -hmm. you'd get a big boil. Yeah, yeah, this is true. And so that's, so I was thinking like coming into that, somehow reducing it. We're not, we're not re invading, maybe oh, strictly speaking, but we're reducing yeah? it. Yeah, okay. But uh, I was saying like, I, so we're I, long I, really, I really don't want to end up with a weak group that's doing nothing other than running around. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's building a wall as it goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the wall useful? Can it, can it be used to attack something? If yes, then we're good. If not, then I have questions. Hmm. Um, what was the answer to the Chinese game? Huh? Well, they build a wall. Oh, they try, uh, the Great Wall. Anything. I see. <laughs> this is the type of situation that requires some preparation. And so the move that we really want to find is this type of move. Okay, so I'm one off. <laughs> <laughs> and so we want our moves to do two things. We want our moves to find weaknesses in the opponent's shape. What does this move do? Threatening to cut this thing off? Good. Number one, it's threatening to just say, mine. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And if imagine if black can just cut the board here. Black doesn't really care how many points white gets over here. Right? Because all of a sudden, black made an extra you know, 12, 15 points that you know, we're more likely going to be whites. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, so that's one thing. What else is this move threatening? Threatening to make one of those invasions work. Yeah, now, if we have a friend here, when we start throwing stones in here, now that stone will have two things to do. It can run out to its friend, or it can live in the corner. Yeah. And so you can see how these two things sort of cha start chaining together. It has a friend to run to. So we go like this, and then we go like this. Oh. Would it be better to extend that one first and threaten to peek through the no, wall? No, not at all. Okay. No, because this is actually defendable. And there's some weaknesses here, but this is, uh, we, we sort of lost the opportunity. The timing is off. So if we did manage to find that preparatory move, yeah. I feel like the attachment doesn't feel as intuitive as maybe the Yeah, so this is, this is a shape we're going to see, um, I think, in another problem coming up as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in the large knight extension, uh, yeah, there's, there's a weak point here. There's a weak point here, but probably the usual weakest point is here. What does it do then? Uh, well, again, we saw when black comes here, white actually has the option of playing this way. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, and clearly, if you play something like this, white's just going to mm -hmm. do this sort of thing. Um, if we do this, we're at risk of just dying with that stone outright. Um, so this one actually gives our opponent sort of the fewest options. Um, there are three options. That still sounds like a lot, I know, but there's <laughs> they're all pretty much acceptable for black, right? The first option is, hey, let's just say, cut our losses and just take a reduction. And actually there's also, probably cuts better here. Um, there's a ladder. Um, you know, this would be like the safest, most, most passive option for white, just doing this very, very weak connection. Um, but in this case, black is happy, um, or happy enough to like force all these weaknesses in white shape and still not really be under any direct attack. Second option uh, oops, is for white to just cover. Yes. Yes. So cross cut or something else that I haven't figured out? Uh, so here, you don't play on the 3-3 then? 
I think I think we can even just play there. Hmm. I'm actually not sure what the best move is at this point. Yeah, I I didn't like that. You know, what because why? Um far, far. It, it just seemed like black was gonna get crowded in there. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Your points are gone. <laughs> I think maybe one reason I don't like it is I've seen that from Black Side. <laughs> <laughs> I and see. I, I wanted more. <laughs> that, I mean, I mean, look, this is turning into Black territory just yeah. directly. Yeah, that's a lot. But I wanted more. <laughs> and, sure. Uh, okay. So then, what does the crosscut look like? Uh, okay. Well, here I want to show you one other before we do that one. Yep. Let me go back to this one. You could say, well, what if white blocks the corner? Well, if black has a stone here, and again, this stone turns out to be really useful, black just pushes. Yeah. Can white block? No. Uh, Oops. Uh, Double Atari? Yeah. So notice what happens if you don't have a stone here. When you Atari here, what do you do next? And you, you can go here. I mean, yeah. these, these two stones are mm. running out of time real fast. And you can't actually, you don't have time to go and, you know, give anything else more liberties because mm -hmm. you just die. Yeah. So you have to fight this very difficult type of thing that I'm not even sure if it works. I'm not even sure how to proceed exactly from here. I don't know. Something like this. Uh, probably there. I don't know. There, white just fixes a shape somewhere. You still don't have two eyes, right, is the thing. Black needs to find a weakness, like here, to take advantage of. Oh, actually, this doesn't even work. Black would. Yeah, this one doesn't even work. There's there. So that preparatory stone is so, super helpful. Uh, that preparatory stone makes the whole thing just work. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. in this case, because of this variation. Right, right, right. But hard to see. Again, like, I think this is the hardest problem of all the boards. Mm. I think this is the one that I uh, had. I don't want to say I had no confidence in you guys or no faith in you guys, but I was I'm not. I'm still having to move my stuff over. Um, I'm still with this stuff that's a little Challenge Kyle, problem. Kyle's talking to himself. Yeah, it's a challenge problem. Came on board two. <laughs> right there. So what was the sequence? Here. Yeah, you make one preparatory move, yeah. and then you play a move yeah. Yeah, that yeah. can do two things. Mm. I'm sorry. I have this move here is similar, yeah, sorry, I figured going. Uh, but I think white's, again, more inclined to just play here. So the way that this ever gets promoted to your attention, like, it wouldn't, wouldn't have occurred to me at all, but it's because you just kind of, like, know to think, hey, this you large knight's shape, extension, yeah. therefore there's that weak mm -hmm. spot. And the, lar the large knight in the corner, this is really the spot you should be aiming for, okay. like 80% of the time. Okay. So is this like a large knight extension being invaded by a large knight extension? It sure is. <laughs> what if uh, White says, I'm living here and here, you have a large knight's extension? Ah, that's great. All right, there's, there's actually several options. I'm we can play here first. Mm -hmm. Number two, we could actually just play here. <laughs> mm. And just sort of, you know, make oh, okay. a very, actually it's probably too small of life. That's, that's, don't do that. I think you just come out like this. Okay. Okay. I guess if, mm. if black and if white insisted well, on a fight of the crosscut, and on. then yeah, because there is this really thin old. for a white, but yeah. it, this is a very big corner. But we need to play here. But now this actually looks pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you have if you have Saldans over here, maybe though now is the time you can mm -hmm. okay. play this type move because yeah, if you're if. <laughs> I mean, before we had one of the variations where White just does this, right, and you just come out, like, that's not... Play <laughs> another Well, actually, never mind, it kind of is. No. <laughs> actually, never mind. White still has that move. I don't know, I haven't thought about it enough. But, anyway, we'll focus on the shapes. Yeah. Shape, large yeah. knight, you want to cut at that point. Yeah. Good, next board. <laughs> we'll move along. This one. All right. What do you guys come up with? There were two that yeah, our group looked at. There's two really interesting spots in this board. So the sort of more obvious one that's similar to what we've done before uh -huh. seemed to be there. So here or here? 
Uh, well, we were looking at the one that was closer we to the, the closer yeah. to the friend that we had, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we were going to connect underneath after that. It does not work now. It does not work, okay. Yeah, so this, there is a quasi connection here. Yeah. You don't necessarily literally connect those two stones, but you can sort of just ride on top of them and get a bunch of free stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but after white has a diagonal, okay. this no longer works. Okay. Because normally you'd expect to be able to cut here and then Atari this stone on top. Yeah. And then come around. Mm. There's, there's, you can't come here. Ah. There's a stone there. Right, normally you just, you know, right on top. Right on top of the yep. snow. There's already a stone here, it doesn't work. And the other variations, like if you were going to Atari this way, also don't work. You know, there's a stone there, it's connected. So, yeah, the diagonal move is a very strong fighting move that prevents these little connections below it. Yep, there's a black ball of silk. Uh, with it, that feels uh, really like not the greatest for black. Oh, yeah, not good. I feel like your only hope is to attach to the corner. Yeah, yeah we gotta make yeah, some I was saying, like, do exchanges. Do, do this and get a fight going underneath. <laughs> <laughs> no. White's, White's happy about this exchange because now White's gonna punish that later. Oh. Uh, oh, I mean, you can make life. Um, yeah, you're, 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 you're like you can losing the like stronger. You can you can do this. <laughs> yeah, like this is a possibility. Good, we're alive, ish. Like yeah, like not eighty percent, eighty up to eighty percent. I mean, would would black be something like happy enough? Because this group is now like a little bit like running. Obviously, if they do another move, they no. Can White's get, is playing here next. White, White is just gonna trash you. And now White's also threatening with this stone here to come in here or here. That's the knight's move attachment. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's twice. That's one of these. Well, this stone here, actually, I think this is also good. Okay. It's also very difficult for black to handle. So, yeah, we can do this. Not optimal. Mm, probably not optimal. What else are you guys considering? Our group decided that, that this group wasn't quite alive yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, is this shape here? I think that's what it was. No. Up there. No, it was there. Something there. Hmm. I really like that move. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's not totally not the move I intended. That's my favorite. Because <laughs> really after good. you make a couple exchanges, you can come back and harass this. Uh, yeah. But only once that's settled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What, I'll, I'll what makes it, you favor the attachment rather than the three three invasion? That's what we looked at. Yeah. This, yeah this. So so, the, there, like there's a this is actually a hard problem in this corner because you want to do both things as black. <laughs> You both want to strengthen this group, but you also sort of want to try to eat all these points, because these points are really juicy up here, especially with all these other exchanges. But you're so weak, you really can't play this, because yeah. you get counterattacked. Um, so, you know, even this, even this, I'm still not really in love. Well, it's almost always you just come straight down. Yeah, it's... You know, actually, in this case, white probably... White actually yeah. has options. Yeah. That, uh, um, if that's still there, maybe not. Here, let's just play. Let's play the really simple variation. Like that would be the simplest expected result. It's good. Not what I intended. Is there a move within the shape that gives you flexibility to do two things? Not really. <laughs> no, it, even no. as it was when the problem was set up. No. Not really. Um, at least not not making use of these two stones in a good manner. There's things we can do, but basically because we have these two stones here and they're a little bit weak, anything we do over here is going to be met with resistance and a counterattack. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to point you guys in a different direction. Okay. What do you guys think of here? 
got some on my radar. Yeah, I was thinking of this one, but... Well, this one's better. Yeah. So why is this one better? Is it putting a little pressure on the corner? Maybe yeah. Working a little bit to get these stones a place to run to, or it's more. It's more. It's, it's focus more here. It's more well, about this stone and this many, corner. You okay. can't make it three spikes of extension, can it? This one. Without. Yeah. So, well, do you want white to play here? No, no. Oh, you want white to play here? What does white do? Does white defend the corner? Maybe. I mean, if if white plays the outside. Let's have black play here. So the fact that that invasion is almost a preparatory move for the... Yeah, it's like for the secondary invasion. <laughs> Double invasion! <laughs> it's Inception. Inception? Incep Trying to spell it in invasion and invasion. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, black will actually be able to make this shape here. The stone will be very helpful. Um, you know, it's if white just helps out the weaker stuff, maybe that's a, can we play here? I'm not sure if we can play there. That feels really aggressive. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's the right move. <laughs> uh, but the idea is we, we want to sacrifice this and basically take a position on the outside, and then we can come back and counterattack this. So the stone you're throwing on the, the stone you're attaching with, you're, you're planning to give up. Yes. Or, alternatively, right, if White, sa if white um, says, you, can says you know what, I don't want you guys to link up. You two are not friends. You know, that's fine. I just eat all your corn. So it's, it's White's choice as far as what, what is given up here. That makes but sense. the idea is we're aiming at something. And we're going to aim at, you know, sort of destroying the corner. This actually, you still might just play here. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is even better. I'm not sure. If we just play here. Again, if we just play this way, we're just alive. If white plays this type of severe thing, uh, it actually makes this stone look kind of dumb, but we're still alive. Uh, I'm not sure what's the best way. I don't know. All right, all right. I don't know about that, one, that variation. This one's maybe the trickiest variation when white connects here. Uh, can we do this? That, does that devolve into the same sequence with Hani? Because white's going to connect, right? Or well, if white connects, then it can do this type of thing. Yeah. No, we can't. Never mind. We can't really do this. We can do it. I don't know how to play this game. That's not good. <laughs> Did that just say it didn't like go really all right, badly? All right, I made the problem up originally. <laughs> Let's say it's not a very good problem. Not one of my better problems. Okay. Is there a name for that kind of invasion? Where you like? He just named it Inceptvasion. Invade invasion shun. <laughs> yeah, all right. Maybe someone on the internet will Leave it. Well, come with us with, with a better position. Give us give a better better, make a better bar position. Let's pretend that never happened. Okay. I think that was the worst one. So we've done the most difficult one and the worst designed one. Yep. <laughs> they weren't the same ones. <laughs> they weren't the same ones. I'm glad somehow. they're up front to chase off all the internet viewers. Yes. All right. This one I think is a good problem. Okay. I have confidence. What do you want to do? I guess we said the 3-3. Three, three. That's what Here's we said, too. The 3-3 three, three is mean, an invasion I'm, point. It's... What does the rest of the people think? Of it is an invasion, invasion point. point. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we said about it. It's an invasion point. It's, it's ominous that you're saying an invasion point rather than the invasion point. Uh, <laughs> I mean... So the, the thinking was that maybe... You know, when this invasion finishes, white will get some wall facing some direction, mm -hmm. and maybe white would feel a little overconcentrated with like a big pile of stones that wasn't like developing on a grand scale. They were mm -hmm. all developing just kind of halfway stunted things. Mm -hmm. But no, that's that's flawless logic, and you're correct. Yeah, this is the point. Ah, this that's invasion is really good in the situation um, for exactly that. He used the phrase overconcentrated, totally overconcentrated. 
right? If, if white has a giant, you know, let's say five or six stone wall here, is facing another two stone wall exactly five spaces apart, too overconcentrated. Second, which way does white block? It doesn't matter. It matters only in the slightest, but it's pretty symmetrical. In a symmetrical board position, where do you play? It doesn't matter. Try to keep the symmetry. <laughs> you actually want to keep the symmetry. If your opponent yeah. has to choose a symmetry or break the symmetry, that's probably good for you, right? You're dividing the pie and forcing your opponent to take the bigger piece. If there's no bigger piece to take. It is perfectly symmetrical. If it's perfectly symmetrical, you're, 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 your opponent doesn't, is not gaining anything. And this is one of those situations where there's no good move here for white, right? No matter which way white blocks, uh, is it he's no getting the same amount of pie. Way. Whereas if, I, if, if this was further out, right? Right, yeah. Now, all of a sudden, now it's sort of like, hey, I, I know I want to block this way. This is you know, worth a little bit more. It's still a little bit over-concentrated for white. Like, I still think black gets a very good result here. But uh, at least white has a direction to pick. Mm. And this, you just, you just make them sad. Like, this is just white. Well, the direction is white block. Oops, if that's there, sorry. Uh, let's say white blocks this way. Let me play this out a little bit. We play the normal Bishkeki variation. Uh, again, AlphaGo doesn't like to play this move, but we'll play it because it's the move, the normal move. Especially if white has to come back and fix this point, which you could argue he doesn't because he's already over-concentrated. Um, that means white ends in Gote. If white ends in Gote, let's be like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Is Wake going to block here now? <laughs> question, question, question on this. Uh -huh. I was thinking, like, yeah, coming in, uh -huh. but the question was, like, how far in? But maybe, yeah. like, between these two stones is a clue? Yeah, yeah, you don't. It, so this is probably too deep. Because it's on the inside of these? Yeah. yeah. Like, like, I, I, think I think we're looking at this one for possible. some reason. That's good. That's a good point. Um, and actually, it kind of depends which way your opponent makes the wall, right? Which yeah, way your opponent definitely. makes the wall actually can affect <laughs> where you come in. Um, and, and here's the thing, it might not even be best to come in right now, it might even be, be better to Tanuki. Um, like even just taking that point, even though it's kind of small, or you know, maybe, eh, maybe this move actually looks quite nice. Um, you could even play this move, and you know, that's, that's gonna have some big end game. Um, because how does your opponent make this into territory? If your opponent blocks here, well now you know you just reduce here. All right, if your opponent tries to block both. You don't even have to come in again. Just play something else again. And then he says, oh, okay, no, I'm really making this side territory. Then you go, okay, I play this side. Like this type of shape, this type of line is really hard to defend if you want to make all this into points. You can make this into points. That's pretty easy. Can't just take Tengen and be like... <laughs> uh, you, I mean, this is possible. But oh, I, no, I meant for white. Oh, for white. <laughs> I, well, if, if, I didn't think it was going to work. If you do this... <laughs> Again, there, you know where you can come in. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's really, really hard for white to actually, actually, I think you actually come in this side because the wall's going this way. So, I don't know, white feels bad. Because <laughs> this, this is points, but white was threatening to make like 100 points. And especially yeah. if, you know, you know, maybe, so here, let's let's give white an actual move. Let's say white defends this way, and you can come in that way. If white just ends up having to back off, how many points are you really talking about? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, maybe twenty-five points. You know, a solid twenty-five points. And plus, you made, <laughs> you know, six to ten points in that corner. So. I don't know. Mm. Uh, I turned a 100 point territory into a 16 point territory effectively, so. Mm. I feel pretty good. 3-3 three, three is an invasion point, remember it. Mm. Good. <coughs> this one, I saw a lot of people think long and hard about this one. Yeah. What did you guys come up with? I expect results. <laughs> so I think, go ahead. Yeah. Well, we, we, I think what we landed on is 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 something in here, but yeah, we did that before, and so we, 
we yeah. couldn't let the we couldn't we let that happen. We decided if you already created one problem where we thought that was the answer, you wouldn't have another problem where that was the answer. <laughs> we, so so for we spent a long time looking at other things. Yeah. So for whatever that logic was worth, we decided <laughs> that this group was probably alive, but this group uh, had some cuts. It was a bit vulnerable in there. Okay. So I think. How, we, how would you attack it? I think we looked in, in somewhere in here, maybe mm -hmm. this or this. Let's right. play one. Or, that, I thought. Yeah. Uh, I, that one, I don't know if it works quite. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I, we did not account for the peep. <laughs> <laughs> now that you put never, it on the board, it's Never a, a truer scarier. statement by a Go player has <laughs> ever been uttered. <laughs> <laughs> so many times in a game, I did not account for a peep at <laughs> that particular moment in the game. Uh, There's even a famous Go Zagan game where he didn't, he didn't read out and his opponents peep before it was really long <laughs> sequence he read out. Uh, that feels a lot worse now. Yeah. Yeah, so we didn't choose that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you can get compensation here. If, if, you, if you actually fix and white is just insistent upon killing the stone, right? Of course, it just. Uh, yes. You can't really. I don't know what you can expect here. Uh, probably have to just play there, right? Because if you play here. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that's the best you can expect. Yeah, but okay. So what if there's a um, what if there's a setup move in here that threatens that yeah. can access a bit better? Yeah. Because here, here's the thing. All right, even if you can disconnect this group and this group, how safe is this group? Very, very, very safe. Can this group find eyes? Probably. Probably. We thought so. Yeah, it's it's really hard to kill this in the corner. Because not only do you need to get you know your your cutting stone out, um, if you don't come in deep enough, yeah. right? If you just come in there, there's just connections. Yeah, that's. If you are somehow magically able to cut this off, there's very likely going to be at least one, if not two, eyes in the corner. Maybe it's like, it's like one and a half eyes mm -hmm. kind of situation. Um, and then white can probably find another eye out here. Or just get out. Like it's it's sure. Yeah, sure. Too difficult. Too difficult. These two stones were really played as a reduction. Sorry. You can see how light, lightly they were played, right? Um, so you know, black's not black's not putting too much serious thought into this. So yeah. the move really is is this one. Okay. <clears throat> And so last time they were they did like a diagonal attack to stop yeah. you from connecting. Ah, yeah. That what happens? We here? did not read out that, but now that you did it in the other problem, it seems scarier. Yes, yeah. this is this is much scarier. But you actually have more space over here too. And so we have a couple of ways we can deal with this. Number one, uh, if if we don't really care about that stone being cutting off this group, we can just treat it like reduction. And we can just dodge away. Uh, and if white cuts us off. We can say, you know what, that's cool. I never liked him anyway. <laughs> wow, that's really throwing him under the bus. And then we have this move. Huh. Which is the move you need to find in this case. Because now what's White's problem? Is, is the corner less safe now? Oh yeah, the corner's <laughs> less safe. <laughs> I mean, you can just take it very simply like this. Yeah. Uh, are you gonna just come back? Even, it's, it's just my corner now. Thank you. Mm. How's this white group? Make it's on the defensive now. Mm -hmm. so we just ripped through that. Yeah. And of course, for those people who didn't see this, let's say, no, I won't let that happen. The corner is mine. They go, that's great. Good for you. What's the fate of these two stones? <laughs> Can they connect? Can they connect? <clears throat> uh, they can maybe, maybe crawl underneath. <laughs> no, there is no crawling. There's only death. There's only oh no. <laughs> uh, there's just death. There's no. There's no crawling. There's just death. They can't connect. Okay. Right here, here, same thing. It's Atari, Atari. Just Atari, Atari. You know. Just. Uh, so this is the type of thing I would play in the game. Now, if you absolutely wanted to make sure this is, again, notice in that variation, it doesn't 
it lets this actually make eye space. Sure. I think the result is more than good enough. Like, we force this down to like a tiny little thing that's shriveled, and we just completely wreck the corner. I'm pretty happy. Mm -hmm. But you could argue, no, look at all my black stones. I really want a weak group here so I can turn all this into 100 points. It, it might be better to do it that way. Yeah. We can fight here. Like, it is possible. White will probably jump out. That makes sense. Because we can play moves like this. Uh, what do we defend here? Okay, go down. Not with like a, a honey for white in the corner there? You you ask you ask for difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking honey under, but maybe that's worse. Honey's just give you more other moves later. Sure. Yeah, what do you do now? <coughs> I'm, I'm I'm playing this move because black is just looking for strength here. Yeah. Like I'm not I'm not really looking to eat your corner. I will if you let me. Sure. But I'm just looking for a couple free moves so I get strong. So when I come out. I'm strong, and I can go back to attacking you. That makes cool. sense. Yeah. And of course, white will make the same exact type of, you know, um, or perhaps, or keep these in his back pocket, right, to make the exact same type of exchanges to get strong and then come back after me. But this is how you make it a fair fight, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, so if, you, if you're going to, you know, Hana here, you're going to be leaving a lot of weaknesses. Sure. And so the idea is, I don't want to give black any extra forcing moves. So we can just stay strong. But now, of course, when black comes here, uh, actually, black, black might even just, I'm not, sure if, I'm not sure what the best shape is for black. Um, but you can see, especially the stone here, um, it's very hard for white to threaten to cut. So is like black banking that he can kill white there? Or? We don't need to kill white. All I need to do is have, if we, if we both run, okay. black will, as part of the running, you oh, get, okay. you know, I don't know, 6th, 7th, 8th line territory over okay. here. This is part and of the running. And that's worth, that might be worth more than what we were getting here already. Well, it's already reduced, right? Yeah. If this, if this happens, it's already reduced. As long as we don't die, and again, we have friends. We technically have a friend. Mm -hmm. We played very light over here, so we made sure we didn't get counterattacked. And we can find moves that give us a little bit extra strength, so either later on we can go back and, you know, either make eye space, or that, you know, work well with follow-ups. We can do all sorts of things. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this move does a lot of things, and again, you have multiple good sequences to come out of it, depending on what you're looking for. Over here, is, is the corresponding heavy move here that sort of thing? Or, uh, like, when? Or just like before, this, this, right? Just, you just were saying push this, in? This is like, no, but like oh. you were saying this, this shape is... Is light. Light, light yeah. Here. Oh, yeah, What's yeah. What's the corresponding so, heavy so, shape? so in this type of situation, let's say white pushed up and black this is a little bit heavier. Okay. This would be very heavy, okay. because now white's just going to come on top, yeah, yeah, and now okay. we're committed to coming in. So this is just like, hey, by the way, I don't really want to fight over here. I just want to like, you know, tap you on the shoulder, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is uh, dong and dash, right? Ring the doorbell, run away. <laughs> cool. Okay. It occurs to me to mention late that internet viewers might find it helpful if you were standing on the other side of the board because I was watching a video earlier, oh, yeah. and when you're placing down a bunch of stones, you can't see what stones you're placing because your hand is constantly blocking it oh. uh, due to the camera angle. That's so pretty good. You, you might find it helpful to be on the other side. Well, I'm really unattractive today. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I put no effort. I stayed home with the baby all day because he was homesick with a fever, so I was like, <laughs> sure. We're not, this one. we're not putting any effort. Uh, I like it. That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, the problem is it, is it defines the shape before you know how you want the shape defined. All right, Al Al Alex is asking about a board question over there. I don't care to show it on camera. Good. <laughs> this one, what did you guys come up with? What did we come up with? I can't I, remember. I was trying to remember, too. I don't know. This was the one where we came around here. Uh, this problem got moved. This was not the original problem. Oh, this is also an equally good problem. Let's do this one first. <laughs> I, we came. I think we thought, thought about some... this, but then we realized it wouldn't work. Good. <laughs> I like that. When <laughs> students try things, they're like, "Oh, it doesn't actually he work." Tells though. me I want to. Like, we're strung on both sides of this. There should be something we could do to that. Absolutely. Yeah. So what is it? I don't know. <laughs> 
Is it possible that this is another attach rather than three, No, three? definitely not. Absolutely not. Okay. This is definitely 3-3. Three, three. This is 3-3? Three, three. Three. Definitely 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Why is it 3-3? Three, three? Play it out. Keep playing. Okay, so White wants Black. the block. Yeah, I think they don't that's want... the right way to block. Yeah. So, to use this stone to help. Mm -hmm. so, and does Black extend here? Uh, Black can if he wants to be really violent, but he doesn't have to be. So let's so not. So try it that way, I guess. Okay. What does White do? White has to block. Okay. okay. Then I'm not sure if Black wants connect. to... Connect. Disconnect. Just no connect. Thingy. Yep. Okay. No thingy. Next move. Let's Good. Let's do that one. Uh, Good. Yeah. Small, Go there, small. I guess. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Then White wants White? to... I'm not yeah. sure. No. no. If White goes there, then that just makes Black's shape White's gonna run, start to run great. Yeah, White, White, White is kind of done. Like, if White yeah. comes in... That's... This is death. Uh... White can't even really play this one because of all the black friends. Push. Block. Cut. Like normally this type of show is co for the corner. Or this type of shape, did I say show? This type of shape is co for the corner. But if these are dead, doesn't matter. And if white tries to get these out, what happens to these? They're also really sad. They'll also die. <laughs> So basically, white will have to choose a side. If, if so, white can't play that move. So the reason why not the attach in this case is because the the three three is, is just like going to leave white entirely without a base. Oh yeah, entirely. Yeah, there's no base for white. Now and the best if white really wanted a base, white could uh, go back oops, all the way here. Um, could still block here actually, but although again black has more severe variations, so if we play the normal variation, white can get away with this. Um, whoops, whoops. Except here, instead of this turn, you turn here. So I feel like whenever I play this, I almost always, as black, extend that way. Oh, that what makes you want to... Co. Oh, okay, because it can lead to co? Yeah, there's a co. Okay. But in this case, uh, this is the best base white can get, in this case. Okay. Um, there might be a couple other exchanges here first. Black has to choose block or descend. Um, blocking Why? is a little bit worse because this almost feels like Sente. So in this case, this is the best base white can get. And so that's why we might not play the standard variation. We might want to play one of those more severe variations because okay. we don't want white to just cower like this. Sure. This is still bad for white, though, because mm -hmm. white's still not alive. <clears throat> it looks closer, but still not. Anyway, uh, let's... So there's going to be alarm bells going off in your head when you form that small knights in the corner. I think it's yeah. two over. Now, now, this is not the original problem I set up. Yeah, if you guys were at this board earlier on, the original problem I set up was actually these were here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now I... <laughs> this is hard, even harder. So two, two and one problems. Now it's much harder to invade that corner. And right. the move that I like is this. Nope. No? No. Nope. Is it... It doesn't do anything. What is it doing here? No. <laughs> it doesn't work? Oh, I played that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Isn't there a similar position where that works? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but, but not when right point responds. Oh. It's when white tanukis are plays like oh, this. Okay. Yeah. You can play there. You can play there. But not not after this move. Oh. This is this is this would be the refutation here. You probably have to stand, and depending on white's feelings, uh, white could play here, or just tanuki. And tanuki's fine. Or probably here. <laughs> Or here or thus hinting that something's that going on in the corner. Yeah, this corner. This is, <laughs> this, this is still where it's at. This corner is still the hotness. Okay. So where to play? Uh, you guys ever been in a situation in a game like this? Yeah. Uh, I've, I've, I don't know if I've been in one like this, but I've been in similar shapes that feel really bad. Mm. Not where black is so close. Okay. Well now, I've, well, I've now been if you, if you know the shape, so close. <laughs> you should now feel better about playing so close. Because often, especially in Q games, White will think he's safe. Like, yeah. He's like, that's my corner. This, I have a Shamari. You can't do anything. That's the problem <laughs> that I run into. Right. You think you're safe, and then somebody's smart enough to say you're not. This is, this is like the single digit Q mistake of like, oh, I have a Shamari. That's a shape, safe shape. But not when there's a black stone on both sides of it. Hmm. Thinking like something here. I don't know. Maybe the two five. 
And yeah, maybe just touch. Oh wow. Right, it's, it's, it's the same. It's the, it's the same shape. It's like, rather maybe. than large knight and this small yeah. knight attached in the same spot. So this comes here and this comes underneath. And no, you don't uh, no, do that. You get I, I mean, I guess you could do that. No, you, don't you get shredded? Yeah, I, I don't think it's as good. I think you just put it here. Okay. Okay. You come. And if if he comes this way, then you come stones. underneath. Yes. If white goes there, what are white's other options? Okay. Fix. Fix. Yeah. If you fix it, go on. Mm. What does black do now? Hane. Hane. Black Which Hane? Blast X. That one, I think, is the correct one to do first. You're gonna do both, though. You're okay. gonna play all the Hanes. <laughs> ah. So then... White blocks. Does white try and block? Yeah. yeah. But black just connects. Connect. Mm -hmm. White connects. Then white feels like they have to connect. More Hane! <laughs> and then L plus one. L plus, L plus two. Or, yeah, L plus two. Is, is there a reason why white even wants to block now? <laughs> uh, it's Sente. Okay. <laughs> oh, actually, no, it's not really Sente, but... Yeah, it's not sentient at all, is it? No. Um, that's true. Never mind. Well, it does it does make this stone attackable? Okay. Right? okay. So, so, so it's like slightly better for white. It is block. good, except uh, yeah, this is a problem. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say that rather than blocking, it felt like running you probably was to gonna run. be the yeah, you probably need to better run. choice because you're not gonna end with a base. Mm. Yeah, but I, I don't I I don't know as white you would just. Let's say I would not let myself get in this situation because I know <laughs> the Shamari shape in the corner is in danger if it's surrounded on both sides because of this type of sequence. Is there anything more violent white can do in response to that attachment? The original? Yeah, there's... Because like, all of that felt like fairly peaceful responses from white? They weren't peaceful. They were, they were actually always trying to kill black, right? Every move tried to kill black. I guess it always felt like black had an obvious follow-up. But yes, the moves, the moves are not hard. So instead, white can play here. Uh, that, that that would take. That feels really weird. <laughs> okay. So I does mean, white come on top mm -hmm. now? Mm -hmm. uh, like white wants to just then, live at this point. Could white get away with this? Only, like it it's is only one eye. It's, okay. It's L. So that's not enough space. That's yeah. Well, you're. I suppose you can run out. But, but I have to run. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're running, running either way. So, yeah. so yeah. like you're expecting least, this to so do this. So this variation yeah. seems better, at least because White is uh, gonna give up less if he ends up dying. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play moves I, based on that logic. I, well, I, <laughs> If you're gonna end up running either way, I don't. at least you're running from fewer stones. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it means don't play. Uh, the, the better logic to use, though, right, is that if you're going to run away, just run away. If there's free stuff, you can take free stuff, but don't make exchanges just for defining the shape. Like, yeah. don't define the shape. Yeah. That makes sense. So, anyway, what, what did you learn from this problem? Shimmer is not safe. Not safe. Uh, <laughs> and the what did you learn from is... this problem? <laughs> It's Same even less safe. Say it. <laughs> three three. If you if you have, if you're strong on both sides, just hit the three three. Like there's no reason for you to attach here. You're actually just giving your opponent a base. Mm. You have to play uh, an actual invasion. Okay, three more boards. Yeah, you want to move this chair for me? Oh, yeah. Lucy, why are you leaving? That's, that's not even true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one. So one spot we looked at, mm -hmm. whenever we see like this shape against that shape, this spot always mm -hmm. jumps out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good spot. That'd be pretty good. Play it. It's not the answer. What does white play? Probably blocks this way. Yeah, that's good. Due to the... Yep. And then black, black goes this way. No. Oh, oh whoa, okay. Under. Honey. No? No, the other. Whoa, okay. okay. There. Yeah, Joseki. This would, this would be why this has gone wrong for me in the past. <laughs> white plays this, honey. Black? Atari's double Atari? It's not There's double, a double Atari? Atari? It's not double Atari. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry, yeah. Now, the next move you need to know is white. This is, this is a Drosaki that Q players do not know. Yeah, I already did not know it. Yes, that counter Atari. 
Was this one the um, first for, game ever recorded? For, just for, like I can't remember. I don't know. But if black extends, white can actually just fix his Atari, and now black has to fix, and then white will kill three. So instead, black just takes the white Atari's. Joseki over. Yeah, just second. So black goes and plays somewhere else, right? He doesn't. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't fix that. Up. He got a little bit of reduction. Uh, yeah. This wasn't a real invasion. Notice, even though it looked like one. I have played that and had it turn into a real invasion. Oh and yeah, yeah. It and had it turn into me dying. Oh yeah. Q oh. games. This, <laughs> this is this is a severe invasion. <laughs> <laughs> Don games. No, this is, this is a, you know it's a seven point reduction. Mm -hmm. Something like this. That makes sense. Not even. Yeah. The other three frames? I feel like something in yeah. here makes him choose which way he wants to defend, and then you can make either a three, six, three space extension or. Yeah, all right, so tell me, what's the move? Uh, is it this one? No, here? definitely not. No. Yes. It's definitely not. How about three, four attach under this room? That's the move. Comes up. Really? That's we did point. not consider that one. That's the point. We didn't consider that one. Yeah, let's talk about these other moves. Why is this bad? Like, Iron color right. is yeah. super strong. Yeah, Fixed corner, that. safe over here. Weiss is going to have fun attacking you. Hmm. Good. Why is this one bad? Kick. It's almost yep. the exact same thing. White can even uh, play another move to really solidify the corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, in this case, maybe just that one, because this stone's one line further away. But either way, white's strong, white's strong, white is going to have fun attacking you. Mm -hmm. If you play this one, that's okay. uh, you know, white is going to play there. Mm. Strong over here, strong over here, white is going to have fun attacking you. Mm -hmm. we got to find a move like this. Because this move both threatens to live over here and live over here. Mm. That's mm. So before a better two choices. Before we liked the 3-3 three, three better than the attachment, mm -hmm. and in this case we like the attachment more because... This is bigger. Okay. We oh, play 3-3. So three, three. Why is this going to block this way? And build a pretty substantial number of points here. Okay. Yeah. So it we can play 3-3. Three, three. Like, this is another option to consider, but it's not big enough. Okay. So this forces White's direction a bit more? Yeah. I imagine, imagine if you could play 3-3 three, three and force your opponent to block this way. How would you feel? Uh, I see, I see. So the attachment sort of says either uh, I'm going to get over here or you're going to build a wall facing this yes. way. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. So what happens when white hones? On the outside or inside? Outside. Yeah, so the next move, you have a couple options, but I think the best move in this position is here. Okay. So I still think this is the better direction. Okay. Um, you can also consider this one, when if this is the bigger side. But, but never, never anything like this? Uh, that feels bad. really rare, maybe. Because um, first of all, you have this problem. It depends how strong white is on the outside. Sure. Because if if white if white doesn't care about this cut, because mm -hmm. white's strong, uh, you know you're you're gonna get pushed around for a while. Sure. How much space do you have to have? Like, at what point does this become completely unfeasible? Like. <laughs> like, I, I, that's a hard question. Which, uh... I, this would completely yeah. never occur to me playing. Playing, playing, that playing this attachment? Yeah, add this one to your move vocabulary, because it's the only move that Q players yeah, don't is, know. Is it because we're attaching to an influence stone rather than a, a weak stone? Uh... But, but like, because, you know, normally you didn't attach... Yeah, you don't want to attach to a weak stone. But like, it's, these are, like, three across, that. right? Yeah, yeah. The, the, this yeah, is then, then you just play here. So I would say, actually, actually, we can show, I can show you how far I want this stone. It's about how far away this stone is, right? Okay. Hmm. So here, let's, let's yeah, put them back, okay, yeah. and we'll play out a variation, and it'll show you where this stone is useful for white and where it's okay. not. Okay. So this is one of those hideous jigsaws where it like it curls back over. <laughs> so normal move is here. Okay. Corner's still big. Don't let your opponent in the corner. Just take it. Sure. The next move for black is almost always here. Okay. Next move for white is almost always here. I really love that corner, though. What happens if you play here? Black does here. You hide. Well, black has no hard time living. Okay. So you have to either play here or play here. Okay, that makes sense. This move helps take away the base, is worth more points. We like it. If you are going to kill, you can potentially That's take this the one. That's the killing shape? You have, to, you have to make this one a kill. 
Okay. Is it because you can't kill if you're cut? Like a, I, no, it's, I wouldn't have it's, thought of that. For it's killing. more because black gets a free move here. <clears throat> and yeah, you can Tanuki here again, but you're gonna have to respond to this, and you can see that like black gets to run out really fast, mm -hmm. or connect slowly and threaten to cut this off. Like there's, y you've you've created a problem for yourself. So if you're really strong, right, connecting I think is actually a better move if you're going to kill. Right? If you're strong enough to kill, you should just connect. Okay. Because at that point you're not worried about reducing Black's liberties yeah, because... Exactly. Yeah, you're not, you're not, you're, you're assuming you're strong enough to pop out whatever eyes Black can make. You can't leave any forcing stuff. That makes sense. But otherwise this is the normal move. This is better for points and uh, bases. So that does mean Black will play here. And white will play here. And notice, this is a nice corner for white. Like white, mm -hmm. white should, even though black is there right now, <clears throat> black, black should or white should not feel un entirely unhappy because that p corners became really solid, very nice shape. Mm -hmm. okay. But now white, black plays here, and we have almost a base. Doesn't feel super great for black. No, but what were what were we trying to do? Invasion. Yeah, we, we just we just want to get in there, and if we can have some sort of a base to work from, mm. and not get counterattacked too severely, yeah, we're fine. It doesn't mm. quite have the giant potential of the three three invasion. It looks like for <coughs> oh. uh, yeah, exactly. So so we, even though we gave white a very nice corner, how many points is white getting out here? Like five, maybe. Mm. So you know you have you have it's it's the direction of play. It's the dividing the pie thing. When we're looking, we're going all the way back to here, and looking at this board, you have to say, okay, white has potential here, and white has potential here. Where do those two potentials meet, and where's that dividing line? Because I want to play right, I want to slice that pie right into those two equal pieces. Because if I slice it unequally, my opponent's going to pick the bigger piece. Right? I want to slice the pie this way. I put too, I left too much pie over here. <laughs> okay. Right? If I slice it over here, I left too much pie over here. So I want to find that point right where those two pie slices are equal. In this case, that's the type of move. I'll try to remember that. Cool. New possibility. Uh, another possibility you could play here. This is another one. I think in this oh. case, this is better. What's the follow-up to this? I've, I've seen yeah. people point out this move before, yeah, where they move. say like, "This is a move," and this then nothing. And, and I'm like, "Okay, that's a move." <laughs> and I live super low. So white can do this. And uh, we can we can make this exchange first. This is all possible. Do you? What do you do, White? Do you? Do you risk it? Yeah. Let's risk yeah, it. let's risk it. And then we play this move. If we can get a response over there, this is what this base ends up looking like. And now there's a lot of Aji here. <laughs> or here. Yeah. Okay. That's one sequence. Uh, another sequence, of course, white doesn't have to, if white just wants to not go crazy, black will get this immediately for free. White gets a much smaller corner, though. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this, this definitely seems better than the last, than the attachment we just did. Uh, that's if white's nice to you, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does it look like when white's uh, terrible? This is, this is very nice, because remember, white played this sort of slack move out here. Sure, defend. sure. It's very nice white. Um, you know, normally, if we can make all those exchanges and when black plays here, uh, white uh, can press, uh, can cover, uh, can even potentially play this if uh, we're strong over here, which we're not quite strong enough yet. Um, but just probably, probably in this case, you know, just press. I like press. Press maybe is fine. Sure. Not let you make the, that base so easily. Um, another option, white can play here. Is it honey between? Yeah, there's, it's uh, uh, warikomi. Two moves, here or here? This one's a complicated one. <laughs> because of he... Because of this variation. Ah, uh, of course. Very hard I variation. I assumed he was gonna block on the other side. And then white descends this way. Atari. Uh, come out this way. My goodness. I don't remember now. 
let's not play this one. <laughs> anyway, the, the, if, I, if, I, if I take the 30 seconds to reread it, there's a variation where basically black gets a string of crappy stones out here. And white gets all this territory. Mm. But black does get a string of crappy stones out here for free. Which can be really useful for attacking you know, things later on. Sure. All right. Simple variation, of course. It's simple. Ah! We come up. White blocks. We make something that looks like a base. Except it's a really sad base, but technically it's a base. Uh, it's really only got about one eye, though. <laughs> yeah, th th this looks worse again. Like, oh, we got that same corner. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. Okay. So th th this is what white's more likely to play. Yes. And yeah, the only way that we get anything good is if we go into the complicated variation. Yeah, we have to do the complicated one if we want more. Okay. Yeah, if we do the simple one, you can see that this is... It's, it's simple for a reason. Yeah. Uh, and that we Sorry. don't get anything very good. Like, we get, we get exactly what we want. We want to build something there, yeah. divide the pie, but that's all we get. Okay. Two left. <clears throat> all right, this one. What do you guys find over here? That was like an hour ago. That was like an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This always, go, this always goes faster in my head. <laughs> Reality, it's a process. This space looks kind of sparse. Hey, that space looks empty. Mm. Should we invade there? Is it the same point that we've seen on a lot? Where it's, you it's very possible. Where you reflect around. It's very possible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not there. Beautiful, that's that the move. Good job. If, you, if you feel like in your... If you're, Heart of Gohearts. You just look at that board and feel like there should be a stone there. You are a Go player. <laughs> Mom, I made it. You did it. Yeah, because look, there's a weakness, right? We, you, we know we have this link up. So White has to do something. And uh, what does White want to do? Diagonal. We could diagonal. <laughs> we always diagonal. Like, we could diagonal, but hey, remember that move? No, black has even more friends in this problem. Yeah, there's a, there's actually the fact that this is already this exchange is already been made. Yeah, will be very good for black here. All right, because we white still has a lot of trouble um, cutting this. We can actually play almost the exact same that exact same <laughs> yeah, variation right. this time. <laughs> it's like it's like white white really can't even play over here because if black can eat out this corner, there is like nowhere for these white stones to make a base or go to. Mm. You know, they've already been sort of hemmed in. And in this position to attack on the inside there, you just attach to the cornerstone? Uh, attack where? The, the corner. Oh, right now? Yeah. Oh, assuming white plays here? You clamp it or would you? I, my gut says I shouldn't do this. <laughs> my gut feels like here in this case. If we, play, if, we play the, if we play this really severe move, maybe maybe it's good, but I'm looking, yeah, it doesn't work. I can already see it. Um, there's already this problem. Do you guys see the problem? If, what happens if we take the stone? Sad. Yeah, here, we'll even extend once. I'm not sure if we should extend or not, but we will say we did. <laughs> so we connect. Now Black has to save these two. Are you going to save them like that? Can we just Hane here? You have to save them again. If you don't, White plays here and captures these two cutting stones. Mm -hmm. So maybe that way? Maybe this is still playable for black, but it's uh, much more difficult now. Now white comes back here and threatens to kill this. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe white even forces you to <laughs> fill that in. I also wonder if you shouldn't have just tried to save them originally with this the sort of double empty triangle oh, yeah. shape rather than doing these two if, if white was eventually going to yeah, force the issue anyways. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, what about this simpler? <laughs> what about, don't do this. This is this is hard. Uh, well, that, but you have to you have to know that one because that's how White's going to refute you, right? So I don't know. Feels like 
a thing. What was this problem? I just uh, it's completely it. gone now. No, 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 I, I know it. I think I know it. Here, 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 and then black invades. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at this. What happens here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's pretty good. Alternatively, black can still just play here and play the this simple one. It's not simple. <laughs> We can jump out, or we can potentially just make an exchange first. Try to get white to see what weaknesses will leave us. I don't know, Phil, we still have a weak group in our, mm. in our territory area. Mm. Also playable, I like my version better. But yeah, again, key idea, white has an overextended stone. You have a potential make large territory next to it. You must invade. That's the way how you're gonna turn this into territory. It's not by playing here. I mean, that's better. Still feels wrong. This is, this is how you play Go. At, at what point does that start to feel overextended? Is it, is it here? Is it here? Is it, I mean, yeah, where's the, I mean, where's the line? I mean, you, so you look at this, you yeah. usually go three spaces. Yep. If it's like this, I mean, you can still play here, right? Because you have this connection. But now, this is close enough where this diagonal loop becomes her. really worrisome. Yeah. Uh, and notice if we do the diagonal jump out, <laughs> right, I'm sort of touching his stone now. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't know. Is this still something? It's, this still sort of works. I can fight a co. That's cool, right? Or uh, we can... So black just dies there, or lives. Actually, I didn't need that, um, but it's a good move. It's for reinforcing. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. I feel like white got a good, even though we eat the white corner up, this strength is actually quite good for white. Mm. So it starts to feel overextended yeah, if there's now two Now white stones. invades in so, here. So this, this, was, this was close enough where I feel like Does white gets a good result. Opposite. After white's strong here, does uh, white invade right there? Uh, yeah, oh, totally. <laughs> yeah, actually. The counter... Oh, actually, no, in this case, probably here. Okay. <laughs> if you're really strong, you can go threaten the corner first, and then it's probably better. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so right, I would say, you know, oh, certainly here, you, this overextended, this is probably the line where it's borderline either way. Thanks. Okay. Is this the last one? It is! Wow, I'm kicking the camera a lot today. <coughs> Kick around all these YouTube viewers. All right, this one. What do you guys think of this one? We spent a long time reading out a ladder here, which doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, show, show me the sequence. So we started like hey, here. Yeah, let's invade that group. Sure, that's an idea. And then white yes. there, and then black here. Yes. And white comes on top. Yes. And then we looked at both ways, but I think the one we spent more time on was that way. They both don't work. Yes, yeah. that was what we discovered. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it took yeah. us a really long time to disprove this one. That was that was a lot of variations. Yeah, so, so again, one of your go instincts, right, of a shape thing. Black has a two stone group, or white already has Hanate onto the, the head of it, and it has a friend, one space jumping away from it near the edge of the board. That is like a doomed group. That is, generally speaking, a doomed shape. Uh, you have to work really hard to find enough liberties to have time to capture it. Um, but yeah, if, if black cuts, white just plugs there, there's no ladder with this cutting point, it's two liberties to three, white just has a field day. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right. <clears throat> but good, I like the idea. I like the fact you read it out. Now that's a move. Mm -hmm. uh, this position, this has a name. Anyone know the name? It's like three crows? Three crows. Three. Mm -hmm. huh. Three crows is usually pretty solid. If that's not there, and that's not there. Very strong. But these are all there. So three crows is very weak. So invade it. What do you want white to try? Attach. Yeah, like, Where? is it white? maybe thinks that this side's stronger and so wants to kind of push black this way, and so does that. And maybe 
be, I mean, it's already feeling that this group doesn't have any base back here unless he can kill both of those. So it's starting to get scary, like maybe you want to run. But if you were going to try and kill them, is something like that reasonable? Or are you leaving them too much time to make a base? I think you're leaving them too much time to make a base. Yeah, at this point you have to stop the... And, and you're never going to run out without giving Black a billion points from... Well, well, can't, well, if you can kill this, this is still an acceptable result, right? Sure. Locally, the situation's that not over. How do you, how do you kill this? Oh, I just assumed points. that it wasn't going to die. Right here? <laughs> you have to yeah. stop that. Because if White or Black gets that, it's really bad. Okay. And then what? You have to stop yeah. it from connecting. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, this... Really feels like yeah, and that uh, two eyes. Yeah. Ta da! Yeah. Can't kill it. And as you guys have noticed, if you can't kill it, you die. you're in severe trouble. Yeah, you're just, you're just <sighs> you have nothing to do with that group. Like at this point. It's al it almost feels as if you would prefer that none of this was on the board. Like, you just say, no, you know what? I'd rather have that on the board. <laughs> it's almost to that point. Because if it was like that, you'd be like, you know what? Bam, I'm just going to go try to eat these points. <laughs> well, actually, this is not fully safe yet either. Like, that's, that's not a live group. Black's still too strong. So anyway, yeah, three crows, if you're strong on both sides, you can invade the 3-3, three, three, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just remembered oh, the board we were looking at where we couldn't, where I didn't really have a good response to you. Mm -hmm. There's a Tasuji in that shape I just, that just came back to me. Do you want to go back to it? No, I want to be done. <laughs> okay. But there is, there is a, a this, this shape reminded me of the, of the attached Tasuji. Anyway, sorry, okay. Uh, so anyway, what did you learn? Um, Shalari in the corner is not as strong as you think it is. If it's all surrounded by I want, I want, I want I, you to extrapolate that, that I, to a higher level concept. The, the higher level concept is if black is attacking you on both sides, you're in danger. <laughs> yeah, and even, even things you think are pretty safe, right? If your opponent is strong, you can still be invaded. Mm -hmm. The one thing I, that large knight. Yeah, that attachment, mm -hmm. if you can go yeah, right there. Yeah, that's that a really good shape feels. to add to your vocabulary, for sure. Mm -hmm. Preparatory mm -hmm. moves can be useful for yeah, invasions. I think we only really saw like two of them on two of the boards, but when you just can't quite get an invasion to work, see if you can find a forcing move somewhere that gives it the ones that don't need. Those types of moves often occur when there's like really loose shapes, like, like this type of formation. Mm -hmm. Like where you want to cut one thing or invade one thing, so you poke one side and then do your thing on the other. Very common. Yeah, that's another high-level concept. Is invasions need flexibility? Yes. To work, right? Yes. If you only you can't just have one direction. If you just throw one stone in, just say I'm going to put a stone here, then a stone here, then a stone here, then I'll have two eyes. Not going to work. You need to have your each stone you play do two things. Some of those forcing moves, like those preparatory moves, really only do one thing, sort of directly but there just happened to be in a good spot for the second thing you're going to do. The preparatory works when yeah. white only has one good response to the preparatory move? Is yeah, that usually, the usually, usually the preparatory moves are, are unidirectional. Like, I'm asking you to play here right now so I can have this stone for some other crazy thing later. Yeah. Mm. Cool. So anyway, good job. I hope these were uh, memorable. Yeah. Yeah. And again, for my original problem making, I feel like I, was, I did okay. Yeah.